Just the same way, it's full of water in it. Um, it's basically, you can cool and wash at the same time, which is in there. I've got this on now. That's on cooling. And yet we've got this unlocked, so we've got it in test mode. That's the glass for the time for the new um, new board, but probably a whole new thing. I think we can also do it now. Right, we've got the power off um, and the padlock on the isolator. So now we need to make a note of where all these wires go. Um, as you can see, we've got quite a few of the same colour. Um, what I'll probably do is put either a little line or some dots on there or something with a permanent marker and it'll be grey, one one dot, and that'll go to um, whatever that says there, WIPO, um, and so on and so forth, and I'll make a note on the chart with a bit of paper, might need to take a picture of it as well, and the same with these, it just saves a bit of time later on, although you, you can trace it from in that box, but it's, it's easier if you know where the ends go. got our little chart and we've got the wire colours in there in code um, and then we've put what colour a set of pens we've just put some little dots on there um, and then some of them we don't need to put anything on because they're the only, only spare ones and then we do the same with this one and then we can take these boxes off Right, that's the old boxes out of the way and all the wires pulled through into there. Uh, that's our new box. So you've got to get that mounted on here. Um, it needs to be in the right place because the, uh, the new cover has got a cutout in it, just one cutout. Um, and you've obviously got to line the cutout up with where this goes, so there's a bit of measuring and marking out to be done. It's taking us about half an hour to get to this stage. Right, we've got that just sat there. Um, we've got a set of instructions fitting or converting to the old style. And it's 85mm from the side and 50 off the bottom, which is what we've done. But because these are all pretty much handmade, um, it's not like changing a part on, on a mass produced item. You've got to sort of make it fit, nothing quite lines up, as you'd expect. Um, so I think this needs to come down slightly and move over to the right. So we'll, we'll try that. And then uh, it's reasonably square by the look of it. We'll try that and then if that works out fine we'll mark it and then we can get it bolted in. I think that's a better fit. And there's a one cover that goes over to make it waterproof. So I think we're happy with the position of that. So take the cover off and hope this don't don't move. They tend to slide <coughs> slide down um, especially if you turn your back on them. Right, we've got our holes drilled in this and, and the uh, these little dots are where the holes ought to be. Um, what I usually do is mark them with a little cross. And that way even if you've lost the centre line on the dot, you can uh, still see where you should be drilling. Well, I've got the hole drilled through there. Um, put a piece of wood behind to protect the water pipes. Uh, just the other side. That's going to be for our conduit to get through. Hold 
drilled. Um, I always go around the scrolls with it so I can uh, shouldn't get any water up here but if they do you can get in around the threads. That's a bit of cheap insurance really. Do. Sometimes I'm going to bring across the top, but there's no point here because we've got that gap. Got there. That's for the probe. Look, hopefully, we're going to get all the cables up through there. I'm pretty sure we can get more down a 20 mil conduit. Right, we've got that flexible conduit fit in there. We've got another hole here, so you need to get yourself a blanking plug. Um, that's just a 20 more blanking plug, it's got rubber o-ring in there. And that'll sit in the top, the second hole that we're not using. Right, we've got a wire pull through. I think I'll put a spare one in there just in case. Um, if, if we do run out, I can always use one of them to pull two new ones and still get a room in there. Um, there's not a lot of current going up there, so I'm not worried about them being packed in too tight. It's just more physical room. So we'll get all these joined onto these. And all the ends made off. Well, it's got all the wires made off in there. And the probe, the probe running. Luckily, there was a bit of a gap. We've got all joined up in here. That'll, that'll tidy up with some cable ties. Um, so then you've got to power it up. Um, the recommended thing is to power it up like this, and nothing should happen. Then, if that's okay, you put the top panel on, power it up again, then you can test all your outputs in test mode to make sure you've got the right relay with the right cable. And then, once you've done that, you can put the computer on it and program it a bit more if you want to. Got that powered up, we've got our 12 volt and our 5 volt LEDs are lit up. Um, so then you have a Turn it off again. Take a while. Yeah, it's probably got capacitors and things in there. It takes a while for the power to go away. Um, we'll get the uh, top panel put on, which is there. Yeah, that's in 2.93 degrees. Uh, the panel's going round. Solenoids. That's one. And then after that, the second one should kick in. Yeah, it's probably right. It's, it's too. Uh, it's too cold. Unit one, that's unit two, that's the cold, that's the hot, that should be acid, which it is, that should be alcohol, which it is, agitate, bump. Dump valve, hypo isn't fitted, I think it does this, we to take again, which it does, and yeah, that's it. So they all appear to be wired right. Not time delay the first time you press it, I think if you press it again, it's on straight away. 
It gives you a time delay for your first milking. So I've just got a cover to put on and the um, laminate sticker. You would have tidied that up with a couple of cable ties. <coughs> just got to put the cover back on now. I usually could put a bungee or something just to take the weight of it because otherwise it's all, you've got the weight of these two chemical pumps which are quite heavy, just rested on the um, wires here and, and the tubes. So I, I usually try and tie it up with something like that or a cable tie or something. We've checked the hot and cold around the right way that when it's asking for hot it's getting hot and the same with the cold but there's hardly any cold water coming in so uh, we're going to take the uh, nut off here. There's a filter behind there we'll check that it might be full of scale and stuff. Um, it's probably not been checked for a year. I think we cleaned it out when we put the tank in. So we'll check that as well and then put the cover on and get the sticker done. That's the uh, cold water filter, we'll give that a clean and we'll check the hot water one as well while we're at it. 